So I've been using the Nothing Phone 2 now for over a week, and coming from the Nothing Phone 1 after using that for over a year, I definitely have some thoughts on Phone 2, so let's jump right into it. Phone 2's build is very similar to Phone 1, not similar in a bad way, familiar in a great way. Nothing added this unique curved glass to the back of Phone 2, so it feels ergonomically excellent in the hand. I ordered the Nothing case, but honestly, I rarely use it because I really enjoy the overall feel in the hand of just the device. Phone 2 ships with a dual SIM tray for dual SIM use as an option. I get asked this often, but Nothing Phone 2, similar to Phone 1, works great for my usage on T-Mobile and AT&T, including a handful of T-Mobile MVNOs like Google Fi or Mint Mobile. Of course, always check your own carrier's compatibility before buying. Now, the fingerprint scanner does work consistently well, but I do wish it was a little bit higher as it is still really low at the bottom of the device. Spending time outdoors and in direct sunlight, I've had zero issues with overheating with Phone 2. I did experience that though on Phone 1 quite often where if it were too hot outside, my phone would completely reboot or my Phone 1 would give an error at the top that mentioned that it was too hot. Um, but no issues so far using Phone 2, and honestly the weather's been quite a bit hotter now than it was when I was using my Phone 2 just a few weeks ago, so I'm pretty impressed overall with the cooling and the build of Nothing Phone 2 in comparison to Phone 1 already. Now battery life is absolutely insane on Phone 2. Coming from Phone 1, the battery life wasn't terrible, but Phone 2's battery performance is top notch. I mean, I'm getting easily a day and a half, two days of battery life on Phone 2 without even thinking about it. And it charges really fast when I top it off, which is even better. But the battery life and the overall performance with the battery is stellar. Nothing Phone 1 shipped with Nothing OS. It was buttery smooth and I had zero hiccup, stutter, or lag in my usage. And that's no different here on Phone 2. Phone 2 also shipped with Nothing OS, but the latest version. It includes a ton of customization options, and I'm very impressed with where Nothing is headed in terms of their operating system. Right out of the box during the setup, you can select between stock Android or Nothing OS. What's a Nothing phone without Nothing OS, though? Right away, you'll notice the sleek monochrome icons and really cool widgets. You still have the experimental features, of course, like the Tesla integration, for example, where once enabled under settings, you can essentially get a quick toggle to your Tesla so I can control my Model 3 easily from the drop-down settings, just like I did on Phone 1. You can also add functional widgets to your lock screen, providing more insight at a glance or simply providing quick toggles to commonly used features, settings, etc. And of course, with the latest version of Nothing OS, you can customize even your app folders, which is really awesome. I've had a lot of fun playing around with this, just customizing my home screen here and there. Uh, almost every day I feel like I'm creating and changing my home screen, but I've pretty much landed at this point on one of my favorite setups so far, but I really wanted to highlight how much you can customize within Nothing's new OS on Phone 2. It's an absolute blast, and as you can see, it keeps things pretty neat, well organized, and it keeps it looking good. Nothing also keeps up with updates. I've already received two since unboxing. The performance has been great on Phone 2. The 120Hz dynamic display coupled with that buttery smooth Nothing OS ensures you can throw pretty much anything at Phone 2 with ease. I don't game a lot on my phones, but gaming has been great on Phone 2. It's been very smooth without issues. The display is very similar to the display from Phone 1, so consuming media is still very immersive, but I have to say the speakers sound a lot better on Phone 2 to me personally from my Phone 1. So in terms of the cameras on Phone 2, they're certainly better than Phone 1, but of course let me know your thoughts on a few of these samples down in the comments below. First, here's a few samples of the video performance using 4K 30fps as it maxes out at 30fps on the Nothing Phone 2. I shot quite a few photos, so here's a few photo samples using the front-facing and the rear-facing cameras on the Nothing Phone 2.
issue I have with Phone 2 really is the pricing. Everything else is great, but on paper, this is a mid-tier device, and it's really only a small refinement from Phone 1. So I'm not really sure where that price increase came from when using Phone 2, but I'm really curious to see what happens with Phone 3 now in terms of the overall pricing. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on the pricing of Phone 2, but it, it definitely makes me scratch my head a little bit, wondering why they increased the price here this year, especially jumping into the U.S. market. If they would have kept the same price point of Phone 1, I really think they would have made a bigger splash. But of course, let me know your thoughts. Can't talk about Phone 2 or nothing without mentioning Glyphs, of course, which Glyph interface got a few great upgrades with Phone 2. For instance, there's a new composer where you can compose your own Glyph ringtones and notification. There's also the new Glyph progress settings, sharing your Uber status that other apps and developers can also utilize. Then there's the new Glyph timer, which has been great to use while cooking, for example. So at a quick glance, I can keep an eye on the timer. Overall, Glyphs are now more usable than previously on Phone 1, and I'm totally here for it. I can't wait to see what other devs bring to it and what may be in store for glyphs on phone 3. Phone 2 is not a huge upgrade from Phone 1. However, it's more apparent than ever that nothing's really dialing into their brand identity, bringing something familiar yet refined with Phone 2, and you feel that every time you pick up this device. It's familiar yet unique, intriguing, and really hard to put down. No, it's not the best smartphone out there, but it's pretty damn exciting and it's easily one of my favorites. So using Nothing Phone 2 for the last week, I'm really excited to use this as my main Android phone going forward. Nothing is really making tech exciting again. It's been so long since I've stood in line for a product like I did with this one and I couldn't be happier. I'm really excited to see what Nothing does long term. Of course, let me know your thoughts though in the comments down below on Nothing Phone 2, on Nothing in general. I look forward to that conversation and as always, thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.